First aid kits are equipped with tools that can be used to treat a wide variety of injuries. Knowing the proper use of these common tools will allow you better help someone in need during emergencies. A guidance leaflet is a small booklet that contains a step-by-step -step guide to the proper treatment of common injuries. Hand gloves must be worn before touching the patient to prevent cross-contamination from the patient's blood and the wound will not acquire bacteria that may come from the first aider's hand. Alcohol or non-alcohol cleansing wipes are used to clean the skin surrounding the wounds before applying plaster or a wound dressing. Plasters, they are used to cover small cuts and grazes for protection and healing. After cleaning the wounds, dressing and eye pads are used to be applied directly into the wounds or the eyes to provide protection. Some dressings come with bandage or adhesive corners and may also be sterile or non-sterile. A gauze is a breathable fabric with a loose open weave that can be used for wound cleaning, dressing, and bandage. Bandages, they may come in different sizes and shapes. These are used to secure wound dressing into place, provide pressure to a bleeding wound, and give support to an injured joints and limit swelling. The common types are conforming bandages, which conforms to any part of the body with its high degree of stretch. Another type is the crepe bandage, which is a thicker version of a conforming bandage, ideal for more support and pressure. These bandages are secured with the help of the safety pins and clips. Another important item to secure bandages and dressings are tapes. Paper tape is more breathable. A washproof tape is made with plastic or silicone material that resists moist and sweat. A tape containing zinc oxide helps with healing, sticks firmly onto skin, and conforms to the shape of the body, which makes it ideal for athletes. Shears and scissors are used to cut bandages and tape. Some first aid scissors are designed to easily slide under bandages and prevent tearing of the patient's skin during treatment with its rounded edge. A foil or thermal blanket is wrapped around the patient's body to help retain the body heat during bleeding to prevent hypothermia. Last is the resuscitation face shield. It is used to form as a protective barrier between the mouth of the first aider and the patient to prevent cross-contamination. Get all your first aid needs at eshop.araskamedical.com.